In this video, I'm going to show you an HR onboard process using the BPMN or Business Process Model and Notation Standard. So first I'm going to create a pool and that pool is simply going to represent my company for which I am going to have multiple swim lanes that represent the various departments or groups involved in my process. Now that I have all of my swim lanes that represent the various groups involved, I have human resources, my hiring manager, the IT department, facilities, and my employee, I can begin to create the flow uh, of work and information using my standard palette of icons. So every process has a start event of some type. The process got to start somehow, some way. And so we include a start event in our process. And then we begin to include activities in that process. So the first activity is going to be our human resource department entering in information into the HRMS system. And the next activity that we're going to include in our flow is the hiring manager completing a new hire form. And that completion of that new hire form tells the other organizations what types of things that employee needs in terms of equipment and facility access and system access. So at this point in the flow, now what I want to do is I want to actually have two activities occur in parallel or at the same time. There's no reason my IT department can't set up the computer equipment and system access for my employee while the facilities department is setting up their facilities access. So I want to be able to show how these can happen at the same time. So in order to do that, I'm going to use a gateway. And there are different types of gateways in BPMN. The type of gateway we're going to use here is a parallel gateway, which simply means that we want two things to happen in parallel. So I'm going to attach my flow line to the gateway. And to my activities. Now, at the same time, I also need to wait for these two activities to be completed in order to then go to the next step in the flow, which is going to be to my employee. So I want to wait until I have the computer ready and set up and all of the system accounts and the employee's facility access before I send them a notice about that information as well as the remaining benefit forms that I need them to complete. I need to use the same technique to split the path as I do to join the path. So I'm also going to use a gateway again in order to show that these two paths then have to come together once these activities are completed. And then my process can continue to flow to my employee. And then we'll have one more activity will be once my employee finishes processing all of their forms, we'll send all of that back to the HR department. And then a final thing that we have to do is we have to put an end point onto our process. And BPMN has different types of end events. A none end event assumes that that path in the process has ended, but not the overall workflow. But in our case, we truly want the workflow to end at this point. So we're going to change the end event type in this case to be a terminate end. Then, in order to complete my process, I might add some annotations to my model. So I might enter or show a data store here to show the relationship between my entry and this particular data store. So this might represent my HRMS system, um, perhaps my PeopleSoft system. And I might add some other annotations, for example, a text annotation to express my um, form that's going to be completed here.
and that's it. So this is a very high level, very simple use of the BPMN notation.